to just uh, kick things off and do a brief introduction. I know I know most of you, but my name is Laura Carfing. I'm breast cancer survivor and founder of survivingbreastcancer.org, which is our 501c3 nonprofit. And this is like exactly what we do. We send out like weekly newsletters, we have a weekly blog that we post, we have a weekly uh, podcast that um, Janine, who's on the call tonight with us, was a part of. So it's called Breast Cancer Conversation. So you can listen to our podcast every week. And then we do virtual events and in-person events. So we are all about providing like resources, support, energy, positivity, and really creating a great, amazing group. I think it's important for anybody to eat a more plant-based diet. And um, again, it's not just breast cancer, but also other chronic diseases. It's protective against like, diabetes, protective against um, heart disease. So really, you as far as I'm concerned, you can't go wrong eating a plant-based diet. Um, broccoli. So when we cook our broccoli, we just want, when you cut it, and this is, it's gonna be pretty simple. Um, we just wanna make sure that everything is the uniform size so that one of the reasons that I chose broccoli, broccoli, if you're not aware, belongs to, um, family of vegetables called cruciferous of vegetables. There you go, everything's prepped. So yeah, we have like some sort of sauce. And then we started prepping our grains over lentils here. Lentils and grains. Right, so lentils, grains, and then we did what, some vegetable broth on the back? Correct. Plus, um, was it water or just vegetable broth? That's vegetable broth, quinoa, lentil, peppers, and we've got all sorts of olive oil, salt and pepper, and uh, thyme, and whatever else it was calling for in the... Yeah, our four, florets and our red pepper. What really makes them delicious is often the, not only the ingredients, but the sauces that we put on top. Is I was going through your list and like we had broccoli in the fridge, we had peppers in the fridge, we had lentils in the cupboard. Like the only thing that we really had to go out for was the tahini because we don't cook with that a lot. But now I know what type of sauces to make with it. So it's super easy. Definitely economical. I love your tidbit on knowing about the uh, Clean 15, so we can also like save money and not have to necessarily buy um, organic vegetables. So I I took no. I have like three pages of notes over here in my like. I'm not able to spell any of the words that you pronounce for all of these like great enzymes and everything that are coming out of the food. But this was so informative. I really appreciate you taking the time to open up your kitchen to share with our breast cancer and drivers, survivors, and friends community. I just dipped some broccoli in my tahini and oh my goodness, it's so wow. yummy. I think I found a new way to eat broccoli. The, the combination of lentil and quinoa is incredible with that sauce. All right, good night everybody, enjoy dinner. Good night. Good night. Bye.